So what are similar fractions? Well, let's take a, an easy example. Two fifths plus one fifth, or two over five plus one over five. Now, do you notice anything similar between these two fractions? Well, the top numbers are not the same, but the bottom two numbers are. In a fraction, the bottom number is called the denominator. And when the denominators are the same, we've got similar fractions, because that's what makes them similar, the fact that the two bottom numbers are the same. The correct term for this is that they have common denominators. So for fractions to be similar, they must have common denominators. And here's another example. As you can see, all these are fractions of 13. And because they've got the same denominators, they are similar fractions. So how do we go about solving this sum? Well, when you're solving fractions with common denominators, that is, similar fractions, there are two rules to remember. The first rule is, whenever you're adding fractions with common denominators, do nothing to the denominator. You don't have to do anything with it because it's all they're all the same. All you do is you put it over the other side and there's half of your calculation done. The second rule is that you add the top two numbers. Now these num the top number of the fraction is called the numerator. So you add the numerators. So here we have 2 plus 1 over 5. If we finish this calculation, 2 plus 1 equals 3, that's your numerator's done, and then, you just didn't, then your denominator is 5. 2 over 5 plus 1 over 5 equals 3 over 5. And it is that simple to do. So just remember those two rules. When they have a common denominator, you don't do, do anything to the denominator, you just move it over. And the second rule is you add the numerators. Well, in the next video I'm going to set up a few examples for you to try and see if you've, you're able to master this quite simple way of adding fractions. Hope this was helpful.